Welcome back to Let's Play Age of Wonders Blind. Um, I'd like to say thanks to Gooberslot for uh, providing me some suggestions for how to get rid of these annoying crashes. Uh, we'll see if it goes any better now. Uh, what I've done so far is I've... Uh, I, I'm running Age of Wonders now in compatibility mode, and I'm also uh, reduced the number of processes uh, working on this particular game since old programs often don't really like having several processes used to, to run them. So we'll see if that helps. Either way, I appreciate the input. Um, so let's see, where are we? Uh, I'm finding so far I'm enjoying this game. Uh, ye compared to Warlords 2, which is what I do compare it to. It's slower, definitely. Uh, not so happy about that, but it's got a lot more depth. Uh, I I welcome any strategy suggestions. Not I, I like I'd like not to really know what's in these black areas, but like what armies are good to use and, and combat suggestions, things like that. That I really uh, appreciate. Um, you may also be able to hear that I'm I've got a bit of a cold actually. So, uh, I think, uh, try and keep this episode short. Um, I've got a, a spirit puppet here that I can use to explore a little bit. But most importantly, I've got my army here, which is moving up on the goblins. Uh, I'm a little worried, because uh, there's this independent army right here. If they start wreaking havoc on my hometown, yeah, there's the, in this this uh, hero there as well. If, if they start wreaking havoc on my uh, homelands, then uh, I'm in trouble. But uh, I think f these are independents, and I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping them that they won't be. He's been up here before without going south past this ruin and messing with my city, so I'm not going to stay with that. I don't like that I've lost this Builder's Guild, but I really don't want to pull my campaign force back out of its war with the goblins because uh, it'll just give them more time to fortify. I'm hoping, we'll see how it aggressive this independence are, I guess, and maybe I'm making a horrible misjudgment here, but um, I'm going to try it. Um, we also need to take a look at this area, which is migrating to high men. I wonder, do I need all these troops in there to make sure they... Are we sort of keep these guys in check. If I leave two units, will that be enough to set us oppressed? But not sort of... not unrest, so maybe I can do that with this one unit then at least. And I'll put my cavalry up there. And then I guess I'm gonna try, and this time I'm gonna try tactical combat. See how that turns out. If it goes terribly, I'll yeah. see if it's a better idea. What okay, I'll get. So they've got kobolds, which seem to be melee troops. Spearmen, melee troops. One orc archer. That's annoying. Orcs. I thought they were goblins. All right. A goblin spearman. There are actually no walls here. I thought there would be walls, but that was like the other. Maybe that was the other city. This one didn't have walls, so actually we don't need the battering ram that much then. We've got. I'm really keen on checking out this nymph, seeing uh, if she's got something called seduce. <coughs> I'm really interested in trying that out, seeing how that works. Then I've got my archers and my 
hero, of course. So I guess it's time to simply advance. We do outnumber the enemy. Um, ensure that this Elven Scout doesn't get cut off from my other troops, I guess. I'm going to send him south and then uh, attack the Warlock 1 side, I think. And what else? Shall we? Uh, no further than that. Let's see how far can my archers follow. Archery. Yeah, one, two, three. Oh, I'm actually worried that I've moved my. I don't want to move in range of their archers, certainly. developers knew that Lund, Lundar in, in Swedish or, or Norwegian means groves. It's a fairly, you know, elven, isn't it? Uh, I don't want to send my nymph up front. My swordsman. I get at that sort of thing. Let's try and put them in cover if we can. I don't think they had any like magic user or anything who should anyone should be able to really use area of effect, so I'll just march these swords forward and then try and put the archers. Oops. <laughs> That's what I did I, 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 okay. <laughs> I meant to move you slightly in slightly different I'm not quite comfortable with the grid uh hair, it's like I really could have used some sort of lines to tell me where the edges of the sort of grids really are here. Yeah, see, I was trying to check whether you could, I could put him in there and there and said I was too close and she moved out into the cross there. Fair enough. Let's see what they do now. They charge out through the gates of the uh, town. Quite simply. Really keen on getting this battle over with, I suppose. Marching around the gates. And that's their archer. Okay, My archers, can they open fire? Yes, they can. Only one you can hit those this no, you can hit uh, Goblin Spearman or the Cobalt. I wonder which is tougher. Numbers here, they seem very similar. These spearmen have first strike, which is probably annoying. Kobolds can poison, which is also annoying. Maybe we should try and knock out this goblin spearman then. Although it's possible that my archers can't reach. Well, they should be able to. 